Did you know if you replace the battery on your iPhone 11, you will get this notification about the battery not being genuine. This is even if you use a real OEM battery, Apple does not allow you to change batteries without getting this notification. Also, you lose the battery health in your settings. That means you cannot see how degraded your battery is. So you need the original battery to do this. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to do a BMS swap. This is where we swap the little flex from the original battery and we're gonna use a tag on flex and the Inder Gadgets X cap BMS batteries. So we can do this whole process. This requires spot welding, which requires this special tool, which is something a professional should only handle. So if you're a DIYer, highly recommend you go to a professional for this because it can be dangerous if you do something wrong and the battery blows up. So be very careful. I recommend this video only for repair shops to watch and learn from. And if you need this service, we do offer it as a mail-in service. So reach out to us through our website, which I will link down below. So let's go ahead and get started with this BMS swap. All right, so let me show you exactly what we need for this repair. Uh, but first, let's go over the settings and then battery and battery health. So right now I have the original battery back in the phone and you can see it is at 89%. Although uh, usually I recommend around 80% you want to replace it, but in this case, a uh, customer wants to replace it anyway at 89%. So the goal is to replace the battery, get this back to 100% with no notification about the battery being uh, non-genuine. So that is kind of what we need. We need the original battery. You cannot, if you don't have the original battery, then it's game over. There's nothing you can do to uh, get, bring that back other than a new phone. <laughs> so uh, some of the other tools you need is this real life uh, spot welder, it is a portable welder, it is rechargeable through USB-C, and this is the probes that it comes with. You just plug, plug them in here, which I'll show you later. Uh, we need, this is the tag on flex, which I'll show you guys how to use later. This is the X-Cap BMS batteries from Andrew Gadgets. Now keep in mind, this solution only works with X-Cap BMS batteries from Andrew Gadgets. So you cannot mix and match the battery cell. Make sure you buy from in your gadgets, which I will link down below as well. But basically you need one tag on flex and one battery. And this is what comes inside the battery is the stickers to glue it back into the frame. The battery cell, this is just the battery and the two uh, connections. There's stickers and a little plastic. So you can kind of see, you can get like almost that OEM look afterwards. So we'll go through that whole process here uh, in a bit. And lastly, uh, you will need some ceramic scissors. This is because we're gonna cut the battery leads and you don't wanna use metal scissors. For example, you don't wanna use like these because these are metal and conductive. So if you cut through the positive and the negative at the same time, you're gonna short them together and now you have a problem. I don't know exactly what will happen, but most likely uh, uh, it's not gonna be good. So keep that in mind, these are not conductive, so you can slice through them. So we'll go through that whole process. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there's some other tools you'll need, but if you're a repair shop, you, then you should have all the tools. If you're a DIYer, I don't recommend you try this yourself. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, like I said, we have battery health here, so let's get the battery out. Now this battery I had already removed, so it's, it's real easy to remove out of the frame. And the goal here is to peel off these stickers. So let me clear out some of this, this, these stickers here so we can see a little better. You want to be careful with this flex and also make sure you watch the whole video so you can understand all the steps. You don't want to skim through this type of video and skip a step and then you lost the battery health data forever. So I can't see where, oh, here it goes. Let's go from here. So essentially inside this bottom part is the BMS, the chip that handles the circuitry. Actually, let's go under the microscope so we can see a little better. So it's in here. You do wanna be careful. Uh, like I said, just like the scissors, your tweezers are also conductive. So careful with that. Do you wanna expose all this?
pulled. Here you go, there's another sticker here. There's a plastic cover here. Oh man, this stuff is sticky. All right. I believe this model, you gotta roll it out. Let me drop some isopropyl alcohol to soften the adhesive. Yeah, you gotta kind of fold this out. All right, you gotta be real careful. A little more adhesive. Now, do you need a microscope for this? Not necessarily, although highly recommended because you can see way better with the microscope than without. There I can see where everything is. And once you get a microscope, even if you don't do any soldering, you'll see how useful it becomes to see some of this stuff, especially when you're trying to align stuff. I wonder if putting this on the heat plate would have made it easier just to soften it up. So my gloves are very uh, slippery. There we go. Finally, we got two of the BMS. All right, so one of this is positive, one of this is negative. Keep that in mind and don't touch any metal across it because that's where you can cause a problem. Also careful not to bend any of this either because if you bend it you could damage the BMS chip with this, I believe it's this one right here. All right, so with the ceramic tweezers, like you see this uh, lead right here, this metal uh, kind of plate, I guess, cut across it, flip the battery over and Cut across it. Oh, that one was, that must be the positive because I believe that one's thicker. All right, so the original battery we no longer need. And this is the connections here. Now, one thing you'll notice is, let's see. Let me use this. Got to go in between here and fold these out. All right. So you got to fold these out and essentially we got to grind those off. So one tool I forgot to mention earlier is a grinding pen. This is a little uh, little grinding pen, kind of like a Dremel. And what we're gonna do is essentially grind these, uh, these welds off so we can get this piece off of it. This is basically part of the old So what I'm doing is I'm going to hold it down and kind of grind it down. Just be careful because the thing can run away and you don't want to damage anything. If you grind these away, you'll have a clean surface to spot weld too. Let me see if we got this off. Almost. Like I said, be careful with your metal tweezers. You don't want to bridge the positive and negative. Well, actually, right now it doesn't matter because the battery is disconnected, but still. 
All right, I got most of it off, as you might be able to see. And then come get the rest of it off. I think that one should be pretty decent. All right, so I'm going to clean this up a little bit with a cotton swab. Like a little piece here still left. And I can grind that off. I think that should be good. Now let's go to the next one. Make sure you hold on tight. So we're just grinding away where those previous welds were at. So this thing can release. Still kind of stuck on there. One of the things that sucks about this grinding pen is that the battery dies pretty easily. So even though you're not using it, It'll die just sitting there. So make sure if you're gonna be doing these, you get a different uh, grinding pen or make sure you always have it charged. This is the Mant D1 grinding pen. I've used it on my channel before for iPad 7 TriStar. A replacement because the uh, TriStar is under a shield. I'm gonna use my knife to see if I could get the rest of this, which is still a little bit. Let's go back. Now this process is very similar on pretty much every model. I believe 10S and 10S Max is uh, slightly different. As this whole thing started on the 10S, 10S Max from 2018. 10 and older, you don't have to worry about this. You can replace the battery with no issues. Uh, just 10S and newer. All right, so let's give this a shot. All right, so this is the battery and this thing goes like this. So the red goes on top, the black goes on bottom with the cable like that. Don't do it this way because now it's gonna be backwards. So, Remove these covers. All right, so this is where you have to be real careful because this is where it gets dangerous. If you mix, uh, if you bridge these together, you can cause a problem. You plug in the spot welder here. So just plug in one and the next one. Uh, not up here because that's for probe port, whatever that means. And essentially take off the little covers. We're gonna put uh, level two for now. And essentially the way this works is you touch on the battery, touch one side, you touch the other, and that'll create an arc and essentially spot weld. So highly recommend you do this under the microscope because you can see way better. Now they do sell jigs for, for this, although you should be able to do it without it. 
So let's do it just like they did on the original where we put it over hold on this little piece of plastic there's in my way. All right, let's do the one on the bottom here. And it doesn't matter which one goes where, essentially you're just going to press one to kind of tack it down. The other one, you just do a light pressure. When you hear the beep, that means that it's about welded. I thought. So you just kind of go over. One is to hold it down, the other one is to spot weld. Although it does uh, spot weld on both spots. Let's see if I can see a little better. I don't know, what do you guys think of my spot welding? I'll admit I'm no expert at this, but at least you guys can see kind of the process and can go from there. Um, you should be able to wiggle this. It shouldn't come loose. Let's go to the next one. Same thing. Press it down and then press down gently. And then you'll hear a beep. Then uh, switch spots. So you want to do Try to like cover the whole area so that I can spot weld to every spot. Like, you know, the, the whole area that is uh, laying on top of each other, right? So uh, let me do a few more. So I need to kind of flatten this out a little bit. Yes, there you go. I think this might be a little better. So I get the bottom part. So I think that should be pretty good. Uh, let's see, wiggle the cables. It doesn't come loose. So now we got to fold this over just like the OEM so it can kind of tuck back in. So let's see how to do this. I want to be careful. You know what? Let's do it over here. So we can turn this off. All right, it's off. And essentially fold this. Oops. best you can. If you want a tight fold. All right, give me one second. All right, so this is a little tricky. Uh, let's go under the scope. You got to fold these back down. I probably should have done this before. Like that, like how it originally was. There you go. Got to fold it in and wiggle test. Make sure it's not loose. So now that we have it kind of folded back in, we're going to put a new, this rectangle sticker to protect the BMS board. So let me get that out. Essentially, lay it out like this. Oh, my strong sticker stuck to my tweezer. Flip it over. And then we fold it. Like that. And I believe that's when we bring this guy here. And then we get this sticker to kind of hold everything together. So 
So let's get that out. And let's, let's try like, like this. Wait, hold on. I think it's like this. Fold it over. I believe this should fold over. And this one should fold over. So you have this all sealed up. All right, so this is the final look. Maybe it's not the best look, but it'll hold everything in place and secure. Now let's go to the next step. So now we got to do the tag on flex. This is pre-programmed for this type of battery. So uh, all you need to do is plug it in and you only need to plug it in for the first initial setup, not for the whole thing. So what you do is you got to fold this cable over itself. So like flip it all the way back like that. And then you plug this in. So let's go under the microscope for that. All right, so this is folded back. You hold this cable in and then let's see. It's very similar to the tag on flex design for face ID. So it folds back and then this one now is a new connector and you gotta push it together so it makes a tight fit and there you go. And you only need to leave this on until we get it working and then you can remove it after. All right, so now we're here coming in at the end. Make sure you push this all the way up, otherwise the battery may not fit. And just for a quick kind of test, I'll plug everything in just because it's a little tricky with this tag on flex. I'm actually going to get this battery plugged in first and then try to fit it into the housing. All right, it's plugged in. Uh, that should be enough. Now, here's the important part. The very first time you plug this in, you cannot plug it, power it with the power button. You gotta use USB cable. So, what we're gonna do is, here's my USB meter, here's a cable for it, we're gonna prompt to boot using the cable. And this is very important that you do it this way, otherwise it's not gonna work. Um, and you can see it's actually, there it goes. So it's turning on, although it's not charging, although I don't know if that's normal. But let's see what happens. All right, and you're also gonna get the notification the first time. So that's fine, let that happen. Let's give it a minute. Go to settings. All right, important battery message. And let me make sure this is fully plugged in. All right, so I'm gonna turn it off using the, the power button sequence. So up, down, power. So I have to turn it off, okay. And let it fully shut down. Let's give it a minute. So you gotta go through the sequence because I guess this is part of like how it programs it. Look at that, the USB meter is going up. So now I'm gonna use the power button. So I gave it plenty of time for it to fully shut down. I'm gonna use the power button prompt to boots. So three, two, one. Apple logo, and now we wait. All right, we're back on and we go to the settings. And we wait for the data. Look at that. We're at 100% battery health. So, um, although one thing I'm noticing is not charging, although it could be because it's not plugged in properly here, but we're back at 100%. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug this. I'm gonna shut it down. And then I'm gonna remo remove the tag on flex 
plug the battery in, put it into the housing, and then we'll see if it stays at 100. And also with this solution, the degrading of the battery will degrade normally, so the battery health does uh, go down as it should. So keep that in mind, it is a fully working solution. And you could always reach out to Indoor Gadgets for tech support as well. Uh, I'm just doing this video on my own. They didn't ask me to do this. So just letting you guys know. All right, so I've taken off the Tagon Flex. I'm now going to fit this into the housing. All right, so now it sits in the housing like normal. I'm gonna unplug the battery. I'm gonna plug in the screen. Got the battery plugged in. All right, let's go ahead and plug this in. And we get normal behavior. So USB meter so far looks normal. Phone is booting up. Although to be honest, the charger I'm plugged into on this side is questionable. So I don't know if it's uh, gonna pull proper current here. So let's see. All right, we'll back up. Looks like the charging keeps dropping. Look at that. Battery health at 100. I have removed the tag on flex. And in theory, this should all be working, although it's not charging. Might be optimized charging. Turn off until tomorrow. Let me unplug it. Plug it back in. All right, so it looks like it's charging. Yeah, it's charging normally. It could have just been an optimized battery setting. Uh, I'm not too sure how it works exactly. Um, so it can mess with your charging issues. So make sure you guys uh, try that as well. But it looks like it's charging now. I'm gonna unplug it. We're gonna test it to home screen. All right, charging symbol. Charging current, it's a bit low. Point nine seven. I think that might be normal. All right, so I think it's, I think it should be good to go. We're getting point nine seven. Uh, my charging brick is questionable. I don't have another one here, but uh, it seems to be charging stable at nine point at point nine seven. Uh, battery health is here. If you restore the phone, if you update it, the battery health will remain. Uh, you know, this is a proven solution by now. It's been out for at least six months and I've, I've been seeing a lot of good reviews on X, X cap BMS batteries. So if you guys uh, need to buy some, I will link to these X cap BMS batteries down below. Keep in mind, there's two types. There's the regular X cap batteries and the X cap BMS. BMS is like the one I just showed you where it has just the the lead, it's just a battery cell. It does not have the BMS. So here's some specs on it as well in case you wanna know that. But uh, so far, this is all working and we're good to go. So what do you guys think about that procedure to get the 100% battery health on an iPhone 11? Now, like I mentioned, this only applies to iPhone XS and newer, iPhone X and older. Do not require this process to, to keep the battery health and to get rid of the notification. So keep that in mind. Also, once you start doing this process, it will be a lot faster and you can also charge a premium price for the service because you are now doing something that a lot of repair shops can't. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you want to buy these batteries, I will link it down below. If you wanna buy this t-shirt, I will also link it down below. Check out all the links as well where I have the solder cores, my recommended tools page, the repair wiki, the locals community where I post there about what I'm doing. Like this video is gonna go on there first. 
for at least uh, 12 hours before it goes public on YouTube. So if you guys want to see my videos before anyone else, check out the Locals community, which I will link down below. So let me know what you guys thought of the process. Will you guys be doing this for your customers? Do you want to try this? Um, let me know. I look forward to hearing from you guys. So check out this video if you want to see the other Tag on Flex solution for Face ID. I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye.